Welcome back, Ram fans. I have my week 14 power rankings heading into week 14, and I have no new teams entering my top 10, no one dropping out. The green room, though, is getting crowded. Teams just outside this top 10. Got to still include the Browns. You know, if they get some better quarterback play, they're going to be a force to consider. And the Bengals, do they have something there with Jake Browning? Six and six, uh, staying in the hunt. Got to talk about the Indianapolis Colts, seven and five. Green Bay Packers getting really good quarterback play from Jordan Love. And how about our Los Angeles Rams? I have been, uh, I haven't really considered them for the top 10 and they don't really deserve it at this point still. But if they can pull off a win over the Ravens, a very, very good football team in Baltimore, Baltimore coming off a bye, uh, yeah, Rams could very well enter this top 10. So let's get rolling on this. My number 10 team remains the same, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, they had a bye, and I still think they're a pretty good football team. Didn't see enough from any one of these green room teams to bump them out just yet. My number nine team, holding steady at number nine, the Houston Texans, seven and five. The Jags lost, so they're one game out of first place there. And that AFC South is getting interesting. The Colts right there, too. The Texans uh, travel to play the Jets, and that will probably be a very low-scoring game. I expect the Texans to come out of there with a win. A lot of people were picking the Broncos to beat the Texans. I just didn't see it. Um, Russell Wilson, a little bit of a rejuvenation there, but sorry, still not buying it. Better quarterback won in that game. And then we have the Jags, who lost to the Bengals and uh, fell victim to a, a... The Bengals had a better backup quarterback than the Jags is really what it came down to. Give the Bengals credit. Jags, you're at home. You're striving for the number one seed in the AFC, and you can't beat a team with a backup quarterback. Now, Jake Browning may be a very special backup quarterback. Hey, why can't the Rams find a backup like that? I mean, maybe Carson Wentz is the guy, but hopefully we won't find out. So the Jags at number eight, they dropped a spot, actually. They travel to play Cleveland, and uh, that, that'll be an interesting game. The Browns at home, a really good defense. Not sure about Trevor Lawrence as I'm recording this. Uh, I'd like to see the odds on that one. The Lions uh, moved up a spot from number eight to number seven, keeping pace with the Niners uh, with that nine and three record um, right now, they're um, chasing both teams still chasing the Eagles for that number one seed. Lions took care of business. You go on the road to beat a decent football team like the Saints. Uh, kudos to the Lions. So they move up a spot. They travel to play the Bears, a dangerous team. Uh, Lions not got to keep it rolling. They have a shot at the number one seed still, uh, but. Uh, they're going to need some home games to get to the Super Bowl, I think. The Cowboys, 9-3, and three, uh, they remain my number six team, and they host the Eagles, and suddenly that's like the game of the year. Could decide the NFC East, could decide the number one seeding, uh, could decide um, you know the, the entire playoff pecking order in the NFC among those top three or four teams, so that's a big game. And the Eagles, man, they got to bounce back and go on the road and beat a rival. Uh, emotional letdown after playing the 49ers, perhaps. But then, hey, you can't call this a trap game. They're playing the Cowboys. The Chiefs are my number five team. They drop a spot. Didn't drop them too much. Going on the road, playing at Lambeau, a tough place to play. Took a tough loss there. Could have had a win if the referees made a couple calls that they should have, I think. And again, they host the Bills. And big game, big game in the AFC. Could pretty much sink the Bills' playoff hopes. So they're going to be really hungry. Chiefs are going to win the AFC West, I think, regardless of what happens in this game. But it's all about the Chiefs. Uh, you know, where do they fall in that seeding? Are they going to drop all the way to number four uh, when the playoffs begin? And the Eagles, by my biggest uh, loser this week, 10 and 2, they dropped from number four, number 1 all the way to number 4. And 
already talked enough about them and that Cowboys game and their loss to the 49ers. The Ravens, 9-3, and three, they actually jumped two teams. They jumped the Eagles and the Chiefs. So they're my new number three team, even though they had a bye. That's right, they had a bye. And they're at home awaiting the Rams, who just came off a really uh, tough game against the Browns. Uh, man, I've talked about this ad nauseum. NFL's got to figure this out. And, and to make matters worse, who do the Browns play next week? Will they go home to play the Commanders? And the Commanders are also coming off a bye. So four times this year, uh, twice back-to-back, the Rams play teams coming off a bye. Just kind of insane that a billion-dollar industry can't do better than that. My number two team, the Miami Dolphins, 9-3, and three, move up a spot. You know, kind of torn between the Dolphins and Ravens. You know, who would I favor between those two teams at a neutral site? That tough call. The Ravens are uh, the more balanced team, I think. Dolphins, uh, the better offense. Ravens, their point differential. Go take a look at that. It's pretty impressive. Rams have their hands full this coming week. So the Dolphins, 9-3, and three, they host the Titans. I would expect them to get a fairly solid win there. And then my number one team, can't deny it, the 49ers, 9-3. and three. How did this team lose three straight? Well, I think it's mostly because of injuries. But they are healthy now, and they rolled the Eagles. Eagles uh, settled for a couple of early field goals, and then after that, lights out. And those two teams, the 49ers and Eagles, developing a really fun rivalry. And, uh, man, if they meet in the playoffs, don't know where that's going to be. Uh, I think the 49ers are going to be favored regardless as long as they stay healthy. But 49ers, without a doubt, the number one team in the NFL uh, heading into week 14. That's my power rankings. And, hey, maybe, just maybe, the Rams will creep into this top 10. Don't count them out against the Ravens. Rams playing really good football right now. It's just a shame that they're playing a team that's at home coming off a bye. Really makes it a tougher task, but that's my power rankings out here from Rams up.